Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making some almond shortbread cookies or biscuits. Um, so we all love shortbread but with these ones there's some almond uh, ground almonds in it as well just to give a slightly different flavour. It's not going to be a very big batch. Um, I'm just testing this out to see if I like it. So I have in my bowl 125 grams of butter which is softened a little bit and I'm going to soften it more with my uh, hand mixer and then I also have uh, 50 grams of golden caster sugar caster sugar is fine but golden caster sugar is what I'm using uh, 50 grams of ground almonds 75 grams of plain flour and 25 grams of uh, corn flour or cornstarch. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to mix the butter but I have my oven preheating at 160 Celsius that's 140 Celsius with a fan 325 Fahrenheit and I'll soften the butter and then we'll add the dry ingredients. I'll scrape that down into the centre and then I'm just going to pour the flour mixture over the top and I'm going to mix that in but only until it's just about combined. So we'll pull that off and scrape down the blades. And then I'm just going to pull that together. I don't want to work it too much. So having got our dough, I'm going to uh, put that in the fridge, form it into a disc and put it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes to chill it down a little bit so it's easier for rolling out and then uh, I'll take it out and I'll roll it out and we'll make the cookies. Okay, so I'm back with you and I've chilled the dough for a little while. I'm now going to roll it out to about an eighth of an inch thick, I think. Between an eighth and a quarter of an inch thick is good enough. And it's still very sticky, so you have to make sure to keep it floured. And then I'm going to take a cookie cutter which is about two inches in diameter. I'm just going to cut out the cookies 
and I have a baking sheet which I've lined with parchment paper or baking paper I'm going to put the cookies on there or the biscuits on there and then roll out the pastry again to get a few more and then I'm going to bake them in the oven for uh, between 15 and 20 minutes until they're cooked and just about to go brown on the edges. I'll take them out, cool them down on the trays and then put them onto a wire rack and I'll come back and show you the results. Okay, so I'm back with you now and I've taken our cookies out of the oven. I actually got 24 and I let them bake for a full 20 minutes. Um, because I wasn't too sure of the the colour on them and I used two types of parchment paper or baking paper and my regular one they baked and as, as they baked they were clean underneath but another, another baking paper which I bought from a supermarket um, they still seem to ha be rather greasy underneath um, and I can't work out whether it's the baking paper or perhaps the thickness of uh, the, those particular cookies. But anyway, they, they've all baked quite nicely. I've got some are cooled down. These ones are just about cool now. So um, I'm going to try them. They're cooked underneath, as you can see. And I'll just snap one. Nice and uh, crunchy, crispy. Mm. absolutely perfect shortbread texture very buttery and just I can taste the almond I can't taste it too much but I can taste the almond and these really are very very good indeed so that's going to be it for today if you've enjoyed the recipe please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my youtube channel um, in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on to go to the recipe or you can click a link below the video to go to the recipe and I will be back with you with another recipe in the very near future so until then happy baking.